Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video to show you how I sort my um, non-stackable items in my storage system. So, kind of a manual version of the um, Allay. Um, so for now, I think it's kind of the best way to do it. Um, there might be a better way, but I don't know. So, uh, basically what I do is I just pipe everything down into a bunch of chests that are stacked like this. And then um, these ones are just on uh, just on the bottom uh, three, or even just the bottom two would be fine. This one doesn't need to be here. But uh, the, the purpose is that when you're throwing items, they don't get on, they don't get stuck on top of the uh, chests. So basically, what I have is a bunch of you know all the non-stackables uh, being piped down. They fill up these uh, these uh, double chests, and then you can cover these um, hoppers down here with carpets or whatever if you want. And then here is an item selector that determines where it goes. So uh, this looks like an, uh, a turned off light bulb. So that's the off. You know uh, you can you know you can mark it with whatever you want or don't mark it at all. Just remember. But uh, and then you just point the uh, the arrow at whatever you want. And then you, uh, you know, pull the items out of here and just throw them straight on the ground. They get picked up, they get piped to where it says. So, um, yeah, they should be here. Yep, they're here. So that's the, uh, that's the system. Um, so I'll show you how to build it and uh, that'll be the tutorial. I got eat down. Shoot it at that under pressure. What must be what? Show some respect. Let's go, Brandon. Huh. Okay then. Julia, Julia, Julia. Hey, um, okay, I, I don't mean to, I don't know to break this to you, but they, they seem like they're, uh, they may be pleasure pigs, like they're being kept in the for a reason. <laughs> Genome from the future is saying, yes, you're completely right, this was a stupid idea. So, here's kind of the guts of it. So, here the, you know, I took the, uh, you know, the, the pillar of, uh, of chests out. You can, you can do that in different ways if you want, just... Uh, you know, just so that you have this hole filled, and so that, you know, when you throw the items, they just go straight onto the floor and straight into these uh, hoppers. And then, um, you know, then this is just a, a regular uh, selector from item frame. So you've got your um, comparator here. It'll only go eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then half of each of these. Um, then you're uh, running redstone to uh, power the um, hoppers underneath. So these hoppers will go to whatever you want, all right? You know, your storage, or you can set it up like this, where you have a, um, uh, like a smelter. You can, you can pipe it into a smelter, pipe that smelter into a you know, a, a dropper uh, column in order to put them into storage chests at the same level as the other stuff, um, or really whatever you want. And um, basically, it's the same thing on both sides. So this is one, right? One. So what I'd like to do is actually make it so that um, this last one actually turns off these called observer clock, right? So that I can power all of my um, droppers over here, droppers in uh, for discarding items with the flame, uh, droppers for feeding things um, into uh, wherever, right? So, you know, if I need to use droppers, then I got the hopper or uh, sorry, the observer clock going constantly unless it's turned uh, to that off, right? which is a signal of eight, so the top one. 
So that's what, uh, what how I like to do it. You could just make it so that each of these goes, you know, to uh, one of these, um, uh, one of these. But uh, either way, it's symmetric. So I mean, um, you know, the stuff you do on this side, you can just repeat on this side. So I'll just show you how to do one, and then uh, you can do it very easily. So. I mean, you could just screenshot this and do that. It's very, um, very simple. It's not super compact, but it's a storage system, right? So you're probably going to be uh, in a big, you know, storage area anyway, and you want to store a lot of items because these are non-stackable. So you know, you're probably going to want a big space anyway. So um, what I like to do is just you know pipe each of these and each of these around until they're facing this side and then just have them all be one wall like we had under there right i will show you um really quick just how to build the basics of it and you can build it in your own world if you want i think it's the easiest way to uh, sort a crap ton of um, non-stackable items like if you have a, a raid farm but uh, if it's not your cup of tea it's not your cup of tea that's fine and I'm sure there's a better way to do it. Please uh, mock me relentlessly in the comments. Let's get into it. So I recommend building a little room around um, your pillar coming down. So remember your hoppers are going to be here. So you want to be one out from that and build uh, you know, a wall all the way around it. So. Uh, kind of an entrance area wherever your entrance is going to be so that you can move around and do stuff and then you just make a ring of hoppers so all feeding into each other so there so at the beginning if you drop anything into the hoppers they'll just uh, continually go forever um, in here, right? So you can test it by just dropping something in. Shift click constantly so you can get it again. Uh, doesn't mess anything up. And then um, you're going to want to make your um, uh, your selector device be one over from the edge of here so that you can put you know, the icons for all the different things. Um, around it and it's not going to be in the way of your um, of your hoppers here you know if you want to put like a carpet over it or something and there's an item frame there then it's a problem but you could also make it more compact and just move this right over here that, that'll definitely work too that's fine but uh, you know I like it to be more open have more space you can also put like a you know a couple double chests here for um, any non stackables that you don't really have and uh, category four and then you're going to come out the back of it right so remember that one uh, that item frame is right there so uh, you're going to have your um, comparator there so then one two three four five six seven eight so nine total in length um, and then i find that it's um, handy to put your item in and uh, put it on the maximum. I didn't know that candles actually go straight up and down in there. That's kind of cool. So anyway, that should go all the way there. And the thunder is very cool, but I'm going to go ahead and kill that. All right. Now, you're going to want to take and put a block underneath temporarily and then one every other one like this and you can do this in that you know there are multiple ways to make these um uh, these comparator signal uh specifiers I, I don't really know what to call them where you're basically sending a signal down the line and it'll only um, 
it'll only send power out to the one, you know, to the very end one, right? So if it's on one, it'll just send power out there, right? That's the whole goal of this thing. And then you're going to want to put blocks in front and on top of those, like so. But anyway, there are multiple ways to do this. Um, I prefer this one just because it's simple, easy to remember. Um, it's a little bit expensive. I know that there's at least one way that's less expensive, but it is um, a little bit more to remember. And you don't have to worry about the timings on these because uh, uh, because there shouldn't be anything in the system when you're uh, making your selection, right? So it doesn't really matter. And um, you're going to want to put redstone torches on all of these. And they should all turn off because we're on the maximum signal, remember? And then you're going to want to put a block on top of those. Like so. And torch on each of those. They should all stay lit for now. And then redstone on each of these. And all of them should turn off except number eight, this one. Yep. There we go. So that's that. And uh, I don't know whose design this is. This is not something I came up with. In fact, I'm sure that somebody has done this a ton of times. I'm just... Uh, just telling you what I do and showing you how to do it because it is it has proven very helpful to me and uh, you know I don't I don't want any accusations of theft like I didn't steal it from anybody I mean I did learn this a very long time ago from uh, YouTube or something but uh, you know this definitely not but uh, anyway wait so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to put temporary blocks here like so and then uh, these are going to be your hoppers that are going to go uh, directly into whatever you want you know you can pipe them out into storage you can pipe them into uh, some kind of smelter system uh, whatever you want right and then um, you can break those blocks if you want um, uh, right and then you want to put a whoops temporary block right here and a block underneath that, two blocks over. Then I want to come down two, just like that. Then you're going to want to go down and over, like so, two times. Oops. And then you're going to want to go down two blocks. Make a two block wide um, platform like that. Oops. Uh, two blocks like that. Then one block here and one block here and that's what that should look like and now um what you're going to do is uh oh put torches on all of these so let's put a uh, torch here a torch here here um all three of these spots just like so and one here and here just like that okay and as you can tell they're all on so all of these uh, all four of these are powered so um, if you put something in here you should see it come back to you again because it's not going down there uh, yeah there it is uh, let's catch it there do 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 yeah there it is okay sweet so that's working and then uh, what you're going to want to do is use glass, which I, for some reason, uh, didn't, I didn't have enough space for it. So uh, let's use, um, we got blue down there, but goes well with blue, orange. So let's go orange. We don't need candles anymore. So orange glass. And what you're going to want to do is, um, go there or oh sorry is come two out like so ignore this stuff over here and down there I totally didn't make a mistake um, anyway so 
come down uh, here. This is where you want to come out. Uh, and then, so, let's see. So you want to go there, and there. Just like that. Remove those. Redstone. Redstone, 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 and redstone. So, on uh, this one, you're going to go down this level. And then you're going to come out to uh, where you need to be, here. And you're going to go this way. And, uh, yeah, just here and here. So you can get rid of that one, you can get rid of that one, you can get rid of that one. And I don't know what's up with the uh, the Minecraft uh, game algorithm making so much um, thunder and lightning all the time. I would normally like it, but it's kind of interrupting my speech sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that as well. Um, uh, weather. All right, so, um, and so far, um, we haven't needed any uh, 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 repeaters, but I think this one we will. I think this one is uh, more than 15 blocks away from there, so now we come there, come down, again, come two out, and then just uh, come down. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, here, 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 and here. So get rid of these ones, ones that you don't need. And cover these all with redstone. Um, here. And just run that straight into there. Then when that's powered, it'll turn that off and you'll get that. And then um, the next one is going to come from right below here. I should do this in piece peaceful mode just because the mobs are kind of annoying but oh well anyway and then uh, same thing just uh, pillar down like before why when I hold the down why does it stop placing blocks it seems to be kind of a new thing Seems like you used to be able to pay, place blocks as, as fast as you could move, but now that does not seem to be the case. Anyway, remove all of these, and then uh, place all your redstone down again. And put your repeater here. And again, timing on the repeaters doesn't matter because, um, I mean, un unless you do it like a really long um, delay, you know, that can mess things up. So yeah, just put it on zero. But anyway, uh, so that's that. That's pretty much it. So um, the other side is exactly the same. Um, before I do that, um, I will... And I'm not going to do it tutorial wise. I'll just show you know. I'll just do it really fast. Let's just test really quick. Um, let's see. We want this first one to be uh, redstone dust, and then we want the second. Uh, the second one is actually the third one uh, to be gold. No. Um, uh, what do we have? Uh, let's say redstone torches. And the fifth one will be coal, and the sixth one will be TNT. How about that? So, over here, number one is redstone, and then we got uh, torches, 
and then um, uh, what did I put TNT and coal right so coal is number five TNT is there so now if I have it there if I just start uh, throwing redstone dust okay because it's on that selector it should all be coming in here now all the redstone came in okay so uh, let's just you know let's do each of them so uh, I'll throw some torches you know so like pretend like we're in here just throw in some torches all right we're all done you can make sure that it's empty before you move on to the next one and then uh, you know just open that and start throwing some coal it's all in there again you can check and make sure it's you know that they're not cycling because uh, with the non stackables uh, sometimes it takes a while for them to get picked up and then um, TNT and we'll just leave it on there and we'll come down here and check so remember we got our redstone dust torches coal and TNT so it works uh, and uh, that's that's pretty much it so this is um, what it looks like uh, completely done I mean um, other than you know piping everything into storage or whatever and um, yeah I mean it's it's really simple it's the same you know the same base module over and over and as long as you do this like this you know that's really very compact and extremely cheap so um, very very easy very very simple and uh, that way you can quickly sort through your uh, uh, your your non stackable items and um, and I definitely recommend uh, sending one of these into a um, uh, something like uh, like a dropper emptier Okay, something like this so um, when there are items in here it should immediately spit them into fire and that way you can get rid of the stuff that you don't like and you're also sorting the stuff that you do like and I like it I think it's good leave me a comment uh, saying how much you hate it if you loved it say uh, leave a comment saying how much you loved it I guess and hit the like hit the dislike if you hated it um, and uh, please subscribe. I will see you next time. Goodbye.